All right, this one is on uh, App Source Manager, and it is a um, good way to add repositories. And I would recommend this for like uh, Linux Mint 7 and uh, Linux Mint 6 users and all that. Uh, you know, on a distribution that doesn't have uh, a software sources. So this one is how it looks like, and it's supposed to do the same job as the uh, software sources uh, in Ubuntu. So let me show you an example. You go to a launchpad.net type of uh, place and you add a repositories or a PPA, right? And uh, the, as far as I know, I tried this. It doesn't work on the newer lines, you know, the PPA and uh, blah, 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 right? That doesn't work. You have to do it uh, the old-fashioned way where you have to go click on technical here. And then choose your um, distribution. So I'll say John TN below, right? And uh, you copy that sucker copy and then you paste that in here and then you add okay so that's how you would uh, do that and as far as the key I, I really didn't like the way they handle this because it's kinda like a Ubuntu software source I could have you know I thought they could have done better so let me show you what they do here so you still have to go click on here and then you copy the block and you make it into a, the text file like I, I showed you last time but um, <clears throat> um, after that you can import it in here using the the import files that is the only way that it works okay uh to me they could have used uh this I, I tried doing this way where you add in the, the the key id the key id is this this number here or these uh characters here six e blah 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 up to seven so if i copy that so let's say six e you know and i try to paste it in here add it it, it doesn't work okay so I, I don't know why but you can do that in the terminal really quick. Uh, I'll probably show you that next time, but um, uh, I wish they do that because I know you can do it in the terminal really quick like that. Uh, so that's what I think they uh, should have done. Uh, I think they're trying to do that. I'm not sure. Okay. So let's let's forget that. Um, and uh, they have the soft. Uh, I mean the source list here. I don't know if this is good for newbies because uh, I'm used to it, but um, the newbies that they like it the the old way. You know, in the software uh, sources, this is what they open the source list. Um, no, I don't think this will be good for newbies at all, unless you're familiar with this, and then you won't uh, use it. Okay. Uh, so that's what they do here: the software. Uh, I, I mean, the source list, and you can still add a CD-ROM like you could. And uh, they have reload here, and the edit here is to open your um, software sources if you have Ubuntu. So if you click on that, it should pop up um, the software sources here. So you see here, you still have the the CD-ROM mode. Um, you see, this is the the source list. It's the same thing as this one, but you see how it looks prettier. And I think uh, the new users will look like the you know they want this better than that one. Uh, so that's it. You know that's the differences. Uh, so that's all. If if you have uh, Linux Mint 7, 6, and all that, or or some um, uh, Ubuntu derivative that don't have the software sources, yeah, I'll say uh, I'll recommend you get one of this. Uh, better than nothing, you know. You do in the terminal. Uh, so that is all for um, App Source Manager.